Good morning, CNS. Today is Thursday, January 5th, 2023, and it's a B-Day. I'm Nata. And I'm Paige. Good morning, everyone. Seniors, the annual Keith W. Fengler Memorial Scholarship has been announced. This scholarship was established to honor the memory of this former CNS high school student who achieved success in life and in his career by constantly striving to think different. Each year, the foundation seeks to identify graduating CNS seniors that share Keith's values and interests and awards the winners a new Apple computer. Applications and instructions can be found at kwfscholarship.org. Seniors, are you headed to college after graduation? Need help paying for it? Check out the growing list of scholarship opportunities for graduating seniors in the Career Center website. Senior Engineer Lady North Stars, are you interested in the field of engineering? The Women in Engineering Club and the College of Engineering at SUNY Polytechnic Institute invite you to shadow a current SUNY Poly student for the day this spring. Space is limited, so don't wait to register. See the Career Center website for more information. Students, are you looking for a part-time job? The local AutoZone is hiring. Check out the Career Center website for this and other employment opportunities. The Career Center is also offering the Career Exploration Assessment again on January 18th. This program can assist students in making their plan for after high school. Register with Mrs. Deaver or see the Career Center website under Current Events for more information. Under a week to go for the inaugural CNS Super Smash Tournament, Thursday 12th is the day. The library is a place and there will be prizes and pizza to go around. Make sure you fill out that form that was emailed to you on Wednesday if you want to play and bring your friends too. And now here's sports with Johnny. CNS Wrestling remains undefeated and stays ranked 23rd in New York State after a shutout win over Oswego. A 77-0 win with pins from Joe Von Dawkins, Sean Aldrich, Jonah Geller, Ethan Warmber, and Cole Kalfas. Good job, boys. Girls Varsity Basketball is playing at FM at 5.30, and the boys team plays after them at FM at 7.15. It's going to be a packed game, so make sure you pop out and support the theme. Support the team. Theme is Pink Out. CNS Bowling tackled Liverpool last night. Unfortunately, the girls were not able to win with a score of 0-7, while the boys ran away with a W with a score of 7-0. Great job to both teams. On Sunday, the Giants will square off against the Eagles, while the Cowboys square off with the Commanders. If the Giants and Cowboys both win and the 49ers lose, the Cowboys will win the number one seed in the NFC and a bye in the first round of the playoffs. It should be very interesting, and let's go. Damar Hamlin has started to wake up and has movement in his hands and feet. He has been communicating with the doctors, and Hamlin's first question to the staff was, did we win? The doctor at UC Medical Center responded with, you won. You won the game of life. That's all for sports. Back over to you. Thanks, Johnny. For lunch today, there will be grilled chicken sandwiches with Nashville hot sauce, salad, steamed broccoli, and fresh fruit. And that's all for today. From the CNS Morning Show, I'm Paige. And I'm Noxa. Have a great weekend. <laughs>